So should piano teachers be worried about this? Yeah, they probably should be a little bit worried. What's up, everyone? GBT4 released earlier this week, and it has one crucial update. That is, it now takes a visual input. We discuss what that might mean for piano teachers in a moment. But before we do that, take a listen to just 25 seconds of this promotional video OpenAI released in support of GBT4. To me, the most compelling use cases of these technologies will come from starting with a real human need. The obvious one where these systems have really incredible potential is in education. GBT4 can teach a huge range of subjects. Imagine giving a fifth grader a personal math tutor with unlimited time and patience. It's a great tool to bring learning to everyone in a way that is personalized to their skill level. So we can see from that that the whole tuition market is set for quite a lot of disruption. But what does that mean for people that are teaching the piano? I mean, we already have a number of apps like Musician, Simply Piano, and Flowkey. Oh, and on Flowkey, just mentioning that I have a full review of the Flowkey app coming out shortly. It's called The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly Parts of Flowkey. So make sure you subscribe to get that because there is something really ugly about Flowkey that you will want to know about. So we have all these piano apps, which are great for telling you if you play the right note and if you play it in time, but they can't replace at the moment a human teacher that can tell you all about sort of your hand posture and can observe whether or not you're using the right fingers and then they can bring all that qualitative assessment, sort of what sort of emotion you bring to the piece, whether or not you're adding the right dynamics in the right places. However, the way things are going, one can't help but think it won't be long before we look to AI to provide a lot of the feedback that we used to only get from humans. Now, as it stands, GBT4 can only take images and text as an input. But surely video input can't be far away. And I can totally see a situation where we will set up a camera, play, and AI will give us feedback in real time on things like hand posture, fingering. And I can even see a situation where the AI will look and listen to what we're doing and then compare it against other professional musicians playing the same piece and then offer us qualitative assessment on the way that we're playing that piece. So that's the dynamics, the expression, the emotion that we're bringing. So probably the way this is gonna go in the short to medium term is that I see a lot of people using AI uh, to help them learn the piano. Uh, and that, that will be supplemented with actual human teachers coming in and then giving them feedback. But I just see potentially a kind of a reduced role or uh, where, where you might have gone to see a piano teacher kind of on a weekly or monthly basis, perhaps that might become quarterly uh, as AI begins to sort of like take over sort of the general day-to-day -day learning of the piano. There'll also be a certain section of the human public that wants to learn the piano and wants to be taught by another human. They don't they kind of don't want to be interacting with AI. So, you know, there's always going to be those people, but I totally see a diminishing market or a diminishing opportunity for people that are working as piano teachers and you know that's in some ways that's quite sad because I think a lot of people that teach teach not only the piano but sort of instruments in general are professional musicians that are using tuition as a way of subsidizing their creative outlets and if that's removed or is kind of becomes a diminishing thing that may put in jeopardy some of their creative projects uh, and that would be kind of a loss to the human a creative output, I think. So that's a bit of a danger. I don't know what you think on that. Uh, please leave comments uh, and, and please subscribe too because uh, I'm going to continue to follow. This is quite an important uh, narrative that's emerging uh, in you know piano playing and learning the piano, and I'm going to follow it through uh, and see where it leads.